look at that clock. You couldn't even draw a circle. And now your circles are very confident. It's about the grind, guys. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. All right, guys, happy new year. When this video comes out, we are gonna be one day away from 2022. So I figured what better way to start the new year than to take a look at some very inspirational art improvement from our community and really just highlight all the hard work that people have put in over the years uh, when it comes to bettering themselves as an artist. And hopefully this video can inspire you guys to uh, want to pick up a pen or a pencil, whatever you draw on, and go out there and make something beautiful. I mean, either you get very inspired or you start questioning your entire career choice and uh, just quit art as a whole. Uh, you know, please don't do that, okay? Okay? I am watching you. Anyways, what I've done here is I went into our Patreon Discord server and I asked people to put in one old piece and one new piece and show me their improvement. We're gonna keep it safe for work, no blood, no violence, uh, you know, and no chatting in this channel or I will inflict physical damage upon you. And this is all just a part of the uh, perks of being a patron. You get the occasional threat of uh, physical violence from me. First person is Mav. That is a night and day difference. I mean, guys, come on, look at the eyebrows, look at the eyes. This looks like a sketch that hasn't been finished. And then you come to this one. I love the lighting, love the colors. And you even got that subsurface scattering in the ear. I, oh, beautiful, beautiful piece. I can definitely see the increase in your confidence, but kids, remember, do not smoke. Don't do it, I'm watching you. Okay, so this one's by Mao. This one I really like, made in June. 2020 and the other one is from December 2021. So this is very very recent. The first one's great I love the stylization love the colors, but you know what's going on with the background. What is this? Huh? What why did you? Don't run from your responsibility I'm assuming you did this before you started watching my YouTube videos because here you put in the full background I love it. I love it. Oh my god. This is by Loxycat. About a year and a half difference from the first to the second. Okay, let me point something out. Now guys, you put your old work in here, you're gonna be subject to roasting, okay? But the, where are the values, right? Everything looks gray, everything looks muted. It's it just, the whole thing, whole thing is washed out. This is a night and day difference. And the fact that you were able to do this in a year and a half means you put in a lot of work to study how portraits are drawn. Such vibrant, rich colors on the skin and beautiful style on the character. I love, well done. Uh, you could probably work on this signature though. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> All right, so Jack, you didn't put the date for each of your pieces. So I don't really know when you did this one, uh, but my Lord, you uh, you posted this? Jack? Look, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. But the second piece, this, this is great. I love this. Okay, so this one's very interesting. This piece is by Queek. April 2018 to December 2021. And guys, listen, listen, look at me, look, look in, into my eyes, into my eyes right now. This is the point that I always stress about, okay? You wanna know the rules before you break them. Just like how you need to know your enemies before you destroy them. Look at the first portrait, right? Proportions, realistic, everything makes sense. Maybe the nose is a little bit large, but I, I, you never know, people might be built like that. And this individual spent years years to get to this point and this is stylization so it's important to understand the rules the fundamentals how the actual thing is supposed to look before you start to stretch and pull and really turn it into something that just looks like it's straight out of an animation and i love this piece congratulations on finding your style oh this is by relaxable we got a furry in the chat boys first one was from 11 years ago you were 16 that's that's really good for 16 let me just say but uh, now that you're 27 and it's 2021, this is about as good as a cat portrait can get. Like, I love the way you did the fur. You can see all the brush strokes. You can see the way you've hinted at the clumps of fur on the cat. And it's just, everything looks so much more confident than before. And this shows you guys, you don't have to rush things. This is 11 years apart, but now we got a master of painting furry creatures. Shout out to the, the, the furry community. Uh, stay strong. Oh my God. It's from June to December, so about a half year's difference, but this is really interesting because you've painted the same subject. You've basically done it in your new style. And I love this new style because what stands out to me the most is the shape language. Look at the silhouette of the head here. You can see, you know, a little bit of wobbliness, a little bit of uncertainty. 
you know, you weren't completely confident with the shapes you were putting down. But I, I, I don't know what got into you, but this is incredible. You're understanding more about composition. You're understanding more about shapes. Even the texture of the hair looks so much better. I am happy. This makes me happy. Well done. <sighs> okay, so this one's from Soph. Uh, she's an absolute menace in our Discord server, but uh, I've seen this first one in our previous art improvement video. And the second one, way more confident, beautifully done. Love the style. And you guys know what's the icing on the cake here? Soph is only 10 years old. So I think this piece showed up in one of our roast videos too. This is by Smish, uh, November 2021 versus May 2021. So this one is from November. Uh, it's beautiful. There's, I don't think there's anything I would do differently here. I mean, just compare that to May. That's a huge difference. I mean, like the shading, the rendering looks a little bit rigid. The structure of the face wasn't really there, uh, but oh my God, we got another furry. So September, 2013, versus november 2021 i love the rendering here this i when i first saw this i thought it was a photograph i mean the first one here had beautiful colors but i could tell the brush strokes were not as confident as the one here i mean look at that look at that give yourself a round of applause and this is 2013 versus 2021 guys Take your time with your art. Most people won't see improvement overnight. It's something you gotta stick with. As long as you got a passion for it, you're going to improve. Just keep going, keep going. You got this. Okay, I love this one. This is the difference of a year. So the first one, a very rough sketch. I see some chicken scratching going on here. Uh, and again, if I use the eye trick where you cover up one eye and try to imagine where it is, and then you take your hand away, you can kind of see the monstrosity that you've created here. But it really looks like you understand the structure of the facial features now, especially compared to the one from before. This is very impressive. I would say the next step for you is to start using some colors. Oh Lord, this is from Maisie. Uh, she's one of our mods in the Discord and she is an absolute menace. This is from September versus now. I mean, that is a huge, huge improvement in the construction of the head. This one, the first one was almost like you compressed the top of her skull and as a result, she ended up looking like uh, Sid. But I mean, the second one, very solid, good stuff. You keep that up. Okay, so this one, this is cool. This is one year apart and you've drawn the exact same scene. What catches my eye here is the way you're framing the composition now. Look, look at the first one, it's not very dynamic, right? It's just a portrait with a plain, simple background. Props to you for doing the background. But the second one, I mean, this tells the story from a different angle. It's just so much more interesting to look at. You've got the rule of thirds here. You can tell she's looking up. You've got perspective. It's just, I love it. I, I love it. Keep going. Good job. 2014 versus 2021. Oh my God. Do you see this? Yeah, I love the second one here. I mean, the, the hands look great. The facial proportions look so good. And you even got some stylization in here too. I mean, compared to the first one, this is night and day guys, seven years apart. Let me just say it's very hard to make this much improvement in a very short period of time, but seven years, if you keep up that grind, you too can be like this. You know, it's crazy guys in seven years time, I'm going to be 30. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Fishy Finn here gave us captions and everything was not confident. Only drew from the shoulder up and 2021 more confident, full bodies, backgrounds and studies. That's very good. That's very good. This makes me very happy. You know, the thing is, if you want to grow as an artist, you got to get out of your comfort zone. You got to make sure you're doing things that you're not confident with so that eventually you could be confident with it. But if any of you guys out there are kind of like in this stage right now, we're going to be doing a how to draw full body characters for beginners tutorial on my Patreon for January. So that might help you guys get a head start if you want to check that out. Oh, that's cute. Redraw of an old piece from November 2020. So it's about a year's difference, but man. What is going on here with all the pixels? I mean, the rendering, the confidence in your lines and the more vibrant colors, especially up here, like on some of the line art, it's just, it's so much more pleasant to look at. So really good job. You keep this up, you, you keep it up. What? What? You're telling me you went from this to this? Oh my God. You know what guys, I'm starting to get a little bit worried about my job security. Here's one from 2014 versus 2021. Uh, you went from traditional on grid paper, uh, I remember those days, to digital with colors and everything. You know, we digital artists are happy to accept more and more people into our cult. Oh my God. Okay, let me tell you, if you put this into one of our roast videos, you would have got 
destroyed. It would have been incineration, disintegration, just termination. You would have been, this would have been you. But I'm so glad it looks like you decided to study anatomy a little bit and uh, you've gotten a much better grasp of the way the head is constructed now. So good job, well done. 2018 versus 2021. So the 2018 one didn't have much structure in the face. Uh, you kind of just put things in, you kind of just, uh, I mean, you, you can tell it's human, but coming down to 2021, I mean, three years later, wow. That's great. This is really great. God, I feel like a proud father right now. Wait a minute. You're telling me this was one year apart? One year apart? That's from 2020? That's from 2021? I mean, this is beautiful. I love the lighting, but you really went from this? This? Okay, I love this one, 12 years apart. Uh, you can tell there's not much human anatomy going on in the face. It's like squished and it's all uh, uh, strange looking, uh, but oh, oh, that is beautiful. What a crazy difference 12 years can make, guys. It's about the grind, guys. It's about drive, it's about power, we stay hungry. Frika, okay, Frika, you're BSing me right now. You're telling me this was you in 2020 and this is you in 2021? Are you serious? Are you serious? This is crazy. I mean, seriously, this must have taken so much hard work, so much practice, so good job. I'm really happy for your progress from in the span of one year. I'm a little bit scared right now. Oh yes, one year apart, I love backgrounds guys let me tell you i love backgrounds i love it when i see people who used to not do backgrounds get into backgrounds i mean the first one's a beautiful portrait right it's nicely done but look oh the the atmosphere the way you did the background too it's like blurred out of focus it gives the piece so much more depth so much story this makes me happy oh my god this is from zof She's one of our mods, she's an OG. Seven month difference, but the first character already looks great, so I don't really know how much you can improve on that. But the fact that you decided to draw a whole scene with a whole story, add in all these crazy textures and crazy lighting, is, I love seeing that experimentation. I love seeing people step out of their comfort zones. I mean, this one just tells so much of a story. I love this. Look at this, Reigns does arts. Where'd you get that inspiration from? I wonder, where have I heard that before? Hmm. Hmm. But oh man, six years apart, 2015, 2021. I love the second piece. I love this piece. This is so good. The perspective, the foreshortening on the upper torso and the perspective on the face of the character, like dude, compared to the first one, I don't know what's going on here, but you were just, uh, you were just chicken scratching all over the place. Look at that clock. You couldn't even draw a circle. And now your circles are very confident. Beautiful piece, honestly, good job. Beautiful piece, I love this. Oh my goodness. Do you see this? April 2019 versus September 2021. That's a whole change in your style. You've become an entirely different person. Are you sure this is you? I mean, the first one's got a very, very nice illustrative style. I, I like this piece, you know, I really do like it. But this, that's my cup of tea. I love this, I love it. Mm. Yes. Honestly, it looks like you've learned a lot from me. And for that, I am I am super happy. I'm proud of you. Whoa, June versus December. Dude. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. This one's already pretty good. You've got that anime stylization and everything. You've got nice colors. Nice, nice looking character. But oh man, like the second one, this is very impressive. You really got like that Valorant kind of illustration style down with the very rigid shapes and uh, defined brush strokes. You keep this up. I want to see where this goes. 2020 versus 2021. I love this because the pose in the first one, you can tell was a little bit stiff. You know, she doesn't look completely natural, completely relaxed. As we go down to 2021, I mean, she just looks super natural sitting on the broom. And I love the brushwork here. That's a nice broom. All right, so I don't exactly know all the dates on these pieces, but a year of improvement. So I'm going to take your word for it. Um, that's the first one. You know, facial structure, not really there. And uh, a lot of chicken scratchy lines. There's a second one. It's getting better. There's the third one. Oh my goodness. There's the last one. Well done. Okay, well, you know what, guys? I'm feeling super inspired now. I want to get on my tablet and start drawing immediately. I hope you guys got the same amount of inspiration from looking at the hard work that these people have put in. And honestly, guys, remember art is a grind. It's something that's going to take a lot of time. Be patient with yourself. It's okay to make things that you end up not liking, but just make sure you keep looking back. Look at the progress that you've made and appreciate how far you've come. Thank you so much to all the beautiful people who put their work in here and participated in this video. There's so many pieces, so I definitely didn't get to everybody, but just know, just, just know, 
I'm proud of you. Okay, so you should be inspired now. So uh, listen to me. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna close this video down. You're gonna close YouTube and you're gonna go on Pinterest. You're gonna find some references and you're gonna start drawing, okay? Do that, you do that, you do that, you keep that up and you too can be like this. This could be you. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you wanna see more art content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video. Keep up the good work, okay? Keep keep it up. Make 2022 your, go, go get them, go get them, go do it. You got this. This is fun, I love this. You know what guys, let me just be real with you. People always say, don't read the comments because YouTube is toxic, but not you guys. You guys are funny. I like you guys. Anyways, that is all. That is all. I gotta poo. Oh my god, that is a lot of entries. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. What the what? Oh my, when does it end?